Hey, Luke Hayes here. Welcome back to Disney Magic Kingdoms. Well, I haven't recorded anything Disney Magic Kingdoms related in a little while. In fact, they've actually changed and overhauled how they do the game. Now, prior to, there was a happiness meter. And every time you tapped the happiness meter, you wanted to try to go up and up and up. And you wanted to get to the best tier because it would give you bonuses and things of that nature. That is gone. Instead, now... They have a season pass. So it costs, for me anyway, $28 Canadian. So with taxes and stuff, more than that. And there's also a free thing down below. And I'm going to be brutally honest. This zapped the fun out of the game for me so much that I've barely logged in at all. I've logged in like once a week. I don't know why. It just, for whatever reason, I'm just not liking how they have this set up. And I know a lot of games have a season pass, but... They've never overhauled it this much that I've played anyway for some of the other games. But you'll notice at the top, there should be a character for the premium, and there should be one for the freemium. So here's a premium character, which is Charles. It is part of the up update, but it came earlier. And then at the very, very end, There is Doug. That's basically where that is it. Now we've got the up update. Like I said, there was actually an up update earlier, a few months back, maybe about a month and a half back, and it was just for the season pass. But now we actually get the other characters in a limited time event. The wilderness must be explored. Now that is a fine sentiment if I've ever heard one. Though, if there isn't any wilderness close at hand, Exploring one's own neighborhood can be just as rewarding. Welcome, Russell. That's their name. I, I honestly couldn't remember. I haven't seen the movie in many, many years. If you've never seen the Up movie, please do yourself a favor and watch it. It's so good. All right. Well, let's, let's check out what we need. So we need four of Ellie's badges. And I haven't put any characters on or anything because I totally forgot. If I'd known ahead of time, well, I, I did know ahead of time, I could have had this character ready to go. And then, of course, we've got a whole bunch of characters that can get the event currency as well. I'm not going to go through the entire thing, but it's a lot. And these are all the characters. So obviously the first two characters are from the season pass. One is from the premium. Doug is from the freemium. We've got Russell. we got the old dude. I don't remember his name. And then we got you for 500 gems, Kevin Mega Bundle. So at least everybody watching this video will get a chance to see me unlock a character anyway. So there are two free characters and a premium character in this update. And of course, season pass as well. So I basically have to welcome Russell, build Carl's house, and then get to the point to welcome Carl, that's their name, in... Eight days. So there's either going to be a lot to do or a lot of chilling. I'm not sure. Mystery reward as well. Rewards the event currency. For now, just that. Lots of event currency. Great. Anyway. Let us welcome Kevin. I love the colors. Pretty. Oh, hello. Ah, I got his mouth open. That was a goal. I accomplished it. Whoa, you're so tall. And you're so cool and unique looking. Well, Kevin. Let's see what we got for character. Dirt. Gotta get rid of a character here. Send home, I don't know, you. There we go, I did it. So, we've got Watch Over Babies, Evade Capture, which drops a bottle cap, or whatever that's supposed to be. Play together, it might be a pin actually. Share chocolate together, mistake balloon for food, nearly miss. Watch the cane, call out for babies, rummage through belongings, 
and perch on the porch. So, Kevin, as you merge into uh, the tiger there, watch me over those babies. That is so cute. Look at the little babies. That one fell over. It's good now. This might be one of my favorite animations in some time. It's so adorable. And I like the noise it makes as well. I guess before we wrap it up, I should probably look at all this stuff and what Kevin has for drops in the future. But for these yellow badges, these are all the different characters here. Hopefully I'm going slow enough so you can see everybody. Also the up float and the chest as well. We've got Kevin's chocolate bar and there's three characters you can get them. And they are, well, you can see here, the chocolate bars are uncommon and the hat is rare. And then, of course, we've got the ear hats here, and these are all the different four characters that can get them, at least for now, anyway. And again, they are rare. So that is basically it, everybody. Look out for Russell. Probably, probably in a few hours, or maybe tomorrow. We'll see. And of course, what I find very, very interesting is the fact that like, this is all there is for characters and stuff. It's so... It's so short. So I guess we have like eight days to try and get Russell and then eight days to try and get, or maybe five days to get Carl when that hits. But I do miss the, the days where there was a lot more characters and things of that nature. The season pass, like I said, I don't know. I'm not much of a fan of it, as you can probably tell by now. There's probably people out there that really, really like it. I, I think what it is for me personally, it costs so much money for the season pass, like a silly amount of money. And other games do have a season pass, but they're really, really cheap. Like, I play Heyday, for example, off and on. And while I don't buy the season pass, and they do have the same thing, their season pass is like, I think, 6 or $7 Canadian. So that would be cheaper in America. It would probably be like 4 or 5 American. And that's for the month. This is 28 Now, granted, this is spread over three months. If you were to take three days of Heyday, for example, you're still looking at, I don't know, half of that still maybe maybe like 60 percent less in the end for three months of heyday compared to this so it's just it's too expensive and then of course like i said before at least i think i did it's just such a long drawn out process that i just don't have it in me to keep doing it i think i just lose interest really fast because of that and it seems too daunting for me personally so i just stopped really logging in honestly but let me know down below what do you think of the season pass and the changes and things that they've done what do you think of the up update? Let me know, and I will see you with Russell very shortly with Disney Magic Kingdom. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again. Bye, everybody.